Hello there German, welcome back to the channel, Orkshead Chris here, here we back with you today for a standard deck tech which is Esper Tokens. So the idea of the deck is we're going to get a lot of tokens out, um, we got stuff like Anointed Procession to um, help us, but we're going to generate a lot of tokens and then we're going to use stuff like the Scarab God and the Angel Invention sort of as finishers just to finish off and get the final blow within the deck reason we're running three colors is although um mainly for the tokens we're using sort of like white and black we're using the blue as well to control the matchup and get a bit of control within the deck which in personal opinion is which lacks in the white and black version in my opinion so we'll go straight into it we run a l about 11 creatures in total first one we sort of run is anoint a priest the reason being is we can gain life through the tokens which is very very handy um, we're going to use one list earlier on just to get the full benefits but also we can embalm it as well to get um, the comp get more even more life if they take it uh, take anointed priest out we also run angel two of angel invention this is really handy the fact is with fabricate we can put the counters or we can go for the wide option with this it had flying vigilance and lifeling other creature control get plus one plus one very handy very powerful the reason we're running two of these is purely because of the high mana cost within the deck and this is going to be sort of one of our similar or 12 finishes within the deck if we got like um, a naughty procession the fact is we can take full advantage of naughty procession and create four tokens instead of two next creature we run is regal carousel i run three of these um this is a very handy card the fact is it gives us we can generate cats and give it plus all from plus one plus one the life link but also with anointed procession we create four of them instead of two which is really really handy so again we've seen sort of a lot of this combo within the deck but this is very handy we can create get our two two cats as long as the regal carousel stays on the battlefield and the fact is because it's not legendary they do buff each other very very nicely the fact is we have two of these in the field they buff each other up very nice and give each other lifelink which is very very handy so the last creature i run which is two of is a scarab god now this is very handy um we're going to want to play this again with anointed procession mainly because of its ability the fact is we can exile target card creature so say if we have angel invention on in the graveyard exile it and then create two of it with um with anointed procession or do regal carousel and then double the fun and create a grand total of eight tokens which within just one anointed procession which is just insane the fact is it's a five five and whenever it dies it returns back to our hand in the beginning of the next hand set is very pretty insane again the reason we run two of these is because it is a very very high mana cost and it will it is basically a late game card we could could um could run more but i feel two is sort of what is needed within the deck so that's it for the creatures for spells like instant and sorceries we're running about 18 of them so the first one we run is fatal push four of this we're mainly using a fatal push just to get remove any sort of annoying creature low end creatures and get rid of them within the deck very nice and gets just gets rid of anything earlier on that might cause a very big problem within the deck for creature removal we'll, creature removal slash generation we're using start to finish so the fact is for start we can create two white one one creature tokens with vigilance cobble this off with several other things within the deck and also as an additional cost to cast finish sacrifice creature and then you can destroy target creature when this is in the graveyard very handy for um, getting any very powerful creatures that um, fatal push cannot get rid of easily we're also using for removal settle the wreckage again this is a very nice board removal gets rid of things very nicely and very very quickly as well as fumigate fumigate is very very handy we can get rid of um anything annoying very very quickly and very very nicely within the deck 
lastly, for creature removal, we're running two ne sort of um, cancellation. Sorry, we're running two negates, which lets us to counter target non creature spell. Um, we're running four supreme wills, so we can tar counter target spell unless it's control of pastry, or we can look at the top four cards and then p pick one by choosing and then put the rest in the bottom of the library, which is very, very handy. But we also run one it's and scatter, just counter target creature spell. Reason for one of these, not essential in the deck, but can do if we get it and we can counter any hard, difficult creatures to target within within um, the deck. So that's it for spells. For artifacts, we're running two renegade maps. Um, yeah, and there's a battlefield tap. Tap, um, then you can sacrifice it and search for a land. Very good for land, land, getting some land that we desperately needed. We're all, and get rid of, um, sort of matter fix our mana within the deck. For enchantments, we're running three legions landing. So the fact we're using this for is we can use this to create a token and then if we get um, three or more attacking, we can create a white white vampire within the deck. Um, you, we also use hit four of hidden stockpile. This is sort of one of our, our um, main game objectives. So the fact is when at the beginning of our end step, if a permanent's left, we get to create a one one color servo token and then we can sacrifice and create a scry within the deck, which is very, very handy. And also we run two of Anointed Procession. Anointed Procession is ridiculous and this deck takes full advantage of this. Um, the fact is we can create double the token and we've got two of these, we can triple our effort. It's absolutely insane within the deck. So that's it for the main deck. Uh, for land wise, we're running a variety of lands. We're running three concealed courtyards, which is a fast white black flask land. We're running four Evolving Rolled, which sort of does as mana fictions. We're also running two Glacial Fortresses, again keeps sort of fixes the mana within the deck. And then we're running two Field of Ruins just to sort of get rid of any annoying lands that the opponent might have that we want to maybe get rid of. And then for basics we're running three Islands, four Plains and four Swamps. So that's it for the main deck. For the sideboard, we're running authority of the consoles which is one of these this is good for just sort of any decks that generate a lot of creatures so we can tap them and get gain life within it two duresses reason being for this is we can get some control against some control matchups and get rid of any annoying cards that they may spells instant sorceries and that that they may have within their hand one silent gravestone this is mainly used for sort of like um, a Scarab God or any like Daredevils, anything that your opponent's using in the graveyard for, we can stop them with this. And then if they're going to remove it, we can exile it and exile all the graveyards and then draw a card within it as well. Following that, we've got one Crook of Damnation. Again, same job, but the fact is you get to choose to exile a card and then you can exile it and then exile all cards from all graveyards. We also run one essence scatter and one the gate for the for both for the control matchups where we need to put either one in or both in for instances. One lust legacy. Now this is mainly used to sort of like um, against approach second sun or or get refurbish against Godfarer's gift. Get rid of the um, refurbish and all that within the hands very nicely. Only downside is this can't target artifacts, which is a bit of a shame. We're running two Gideon's Interventions. Again, this is to stop damage and stop them casting anything within the deck. Two Ixans Binding, just to exile the creatures and stop them casting it within the deck. One Settle the Wreckage, good for them um, against sort of like red, red decks or anything that causes them to swing wide, we can get rid of them. Only downside is they get to search for basic lands, but if they're not running much, then you can take full advantage of it. One Varaska's Contempt, just to get rid of X or any annoying creature or Planeswalker, and the fact you get in Team Life is bonus within the deck. So again, this is for mainly Planeswalker removal or sort of like Scarab Gods or the Gods removal. And lastly, one Tezamok, Primal Death, again, just to sort of get rid of any wide decks or annoying creatures. But the fact is we get 6-6 out of it is very, very handy. 
so that's it the deck in total um i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you've got any suggestions or anything please let me know um but other than that i'll catch you guys within the next episode don't forget to scrub lasses and from me i'll see you in the next video bye bye guys